Welcome to ACCA March 2024 Most Recap Topics related to Athletic Trans Central Company. Now, before we move any further, I must say that these topics are not guaranteed to come up. Although, when I predict the past two exam sittings, a lot of topics have actually come up. So before we move any further, now, firstly, yes, my name is Steve Chen, the fellow member of ACCA. Not only I teach ACCA qualifications and other professional qualifications, at the same time in the real life, I'm a professional trader for stocks and futures. Now, of course, I want to tell you a bit more before we move any further. The prices of the stocks of futures will fluctuate each and every time. Why? Because we've got the counterparty. We buy the share, which means the counterparty sells the share. So in other words, we are dealing with the market. Markets are human beings. Don't forget, this paper, SPL, is set by the professional examining team hired by ACCA. They are human beings. So this means that, for example, when I trade stocks and futures, I often use the technical analysis by looking at the moving average lines. So I can predict what will be going on, where not the price will be going upwards or downwards in the near future. And of course, this would be applied in the SBO exam as well, because I believe that when human beings are making decisions, they tend to make repetitive decisions. I will show you why and how in a second. Now, of course, the must recap topics, these 17 pages notes, this will be included in our course package, but I would highlight the most important things okay, in this section. Firstly, let's analyze the past exam. Now, the past exam related to the September as well as the December 2023 exams. The reason why this will be a case is because the first pre in material was released from the September 2023 exam. So this means that there has been two exam settings already for the new SBO exam. So this is why, based on the past two exam settings, for example, each exam has three tasks. So for example, the task one for the September exam, testing you about leadership and governance. In the December exam, testing you about the risk management and IT. For task number two for September, talks about the IT risk and decision making. December exam talks about the governance, talent management. Task 3 in the September talks about the corporate reporting. December talks about the corporate reporting. So as you can see, integrated report has both come up in the task number 3 for both exams. So it's important to recognize that pattern that things may be repetitive. Because be aware that ACC examining team tends to test topics which are practical, and most suitable to this industry and the topics which will be used in daily life, okay, uh, the most frequently. So these are the topics that tend to be uh, examined uh, or likely to come up in the exam. Now, the second chapter I would like to share with you is that when we see the overlaps between these two exams in the past, what sort of things has actually come up? So here I refer to the study hub from the ACCA so I can uh, refer to the chapter knowledge regarding these. So for example, risk strategy identification, IT and data analysis, agency stakeholders, as well as the integrated report from each of these chapter has already come up. So make sure that you're ready. I think my top tip, of course, the areas that may come up, yes, these four, one of them at least will come up again for the athletic transcentral company. 
Now, the chapter three I'd like to share with you is uh, the areas that you must prepare for. Now, of course, the leadership part, financial analysis for latest or budget, the process change, corporate strategy, governance, sustainability, IT innovation, and also risk management in practical terms. Yes, you must cover these topics. And of course, in my notes, I've summarized the things for you. So for example, when I talked about the risk strategy, I've given you three possible areas. For example, the Athletic Chance Central's current risk management framework. So for example, the financial instability, so in breach of the FFPR, so you are required to recommend the improvement of the framework in making sure that you can evaluate them to reduce these types of risks. So what you can do, the areas that you can think about uh, that when you are uh, constructing your answer plan, so for example, yes, there might be threats like fluctuating match day revenues, lots of key players and so on. So identify these risks, so you evaluate it, uh, so making sure the, the tools, the, so for example, the financial models related to sensitivity analysis and to develop the appropriate response strategy. So what sort of areas that you can map it to the pre uh, Of course, I would like my students to read this note to finally prepare for the uh, SBO exam. And of course, the final chapter I'd like to share with you is the top 10 issues or top 10 chapters from your study hub so which may come up of course uh, due to the length of this page i'm not showing you the whole 10 chapters but you can find in my notes in much more detail of course uh, what i would do is that uh, the advice that i give to my sbo student is this now after you study the pre scene you're not required to quote any real life examples in your answer. No marks for that. But what I want you to do is that after going through the whole pre scene, you have to position yourself not a student any longer. So, what you need to do is to position yourself as a person working in this industry for many years. So when constructing your answer, later on you will see how marvellous it could be in terms of your quality if you bring the idea from the real life into your answer and to make sure that each point you relate closely to the pre-seen or the unseen information on the exam day. Right there, so I look forward to seeing you then in my course and package, but uh, most important of all, best of luck with your SBO exam for the March 2024. Good luck. APC, accounting for your future.